Movie Review by Rob. We are going to do a lot of movies right now because we just did a lot of filming. Uh, I think the first, we'll, we'll hit the ones we've all seen, and then I'll touch on some ones I've seen, and then Sean and I've seen, and what have you. Um, yes. The first one we're going to talk about is Sunshine Cleaning, from the producers of Little Miss Sunshine. They both have sunshine in the title. Yeah. And they both star, uh, or have Alan Arkin in it. Yes. Uh, this one crazy is old grandpa. Crazy old grandpa character. And it starred uh, Amy Smart. No. Amy, Amy Adams. Adams. Amy Smart was in what that we saw recently? Crank 2. Crank 2. That's one I already reviewed. And that's in the plot. Yeah. So what did we think of this? Steve Zombie. Yeah, Steve Zombie. Steve Zombie. I enjoyed it. Speak up. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. It was good. It was fun. Except for the ending. Very... I'm not gonna... Yeah. It's very abrupt, but um, the overall uh, plot of the film... Amy Adams is struggling to raise her child on her own. She's trying to, well, keeps telling people she's going to try to become a real estate agent, but that's not really happening. Yeah, she's doing cleaning on the side, and she's having an affair with a police officer uh, played by... Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn. But her, I know him best from uh, Saving Silverman. Uh, I think you do. Wayne and Strange Wilderness. Was he in? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but overall, uh, from, that, from his idea, she gets into crime scene cleanups, and she's doing cleaning on the side. And uh, she just decides to take it into a business. Um, what's the one that guy's name? Uh, Collins Jr. was his name? Clifton oh, Collins Jr. Clifton, Clifton Collins Jr. from Rules of uh, Attraction and the recent Crank 2, playing the ferret, ferret uh, makes an appearance as this as the one armed man. Uh, it wasn't me, it was the one armed man. So his performance is excellent. Across the board, I think every performance is excellent. Yes. Um, Overall, uh, other than the ending, which makes it very abrupt, I think this was a very well done film. Yes. The cinematography, uh, the music in it was really good. Um, so overall, I'm going to give it a four out of five. The only thing that kind of ruined it for me is the ending. It felt like it needed to be tied up a little bit quicker. Not quicker. It needed to be tied up. It just better. It just it was yeah. too quick, and a lot of questions remained present. Correct. So how do you guys? Out of ten. Out, no, out of seven out of ten. Sorry. Out of it. Yeah. I'll go with the Rob over here. Give it a four out of five. Okay. I but enjoyed it a lot. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Second on the list, uh, the informers. The informers. Major Badu. Oh. Thanks not yeah. both by Freddy Snellis. The the trailer, uh, the preview for this, uh, had me very intrigued, uh, because it kind of it, it looked like the Amer like the style of American Psycho. It looked like it take, took place in the 80s, which it, it does, 1983, like and I'm very big into 80s films and 80s music. And I have to tell you, the one thing, or the two things that I really liked about this film were the style, the 80s style, yes. and the, the 80s music. It was really good. And I think the performances across the board were really good. Kim yeah. Basinger, Mickey Rourke, Duh. Um, <laughs> Mickey Rourke, um, Billy Bob Thornton. Billy Bob Thornton. Winona, Winona Ryder. Ryder's performance. She she actually isn't in it that much, and she's kind of laughable in part, like yes. the part that she is in. Brad Renfro, his last film. Mm -hmm. He was really really good. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> well, except for that part. Except for he that was part. really 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 good. But um, overall, like great style, but it just didn't have nothing. It's an hour and a half, and nothing happens for an hour. Nothing and happens. Uh, the sun is already setting. So. So I'm going to give this one a 1.5. Uh, I, I really want to give it higher because of the style, and I think a lot went into the actual cinematography of it. Uh, and the soundtrack's awesome, and the acting's awesome, but the story was just so non-existent. Well, it's a it was, it's a bunch of short stories that the author wrote back in college. That after uh, publishing good like a uh, Less Than Zero American Psycho, they decided to put into uh, all the short stories into a book. And some of the characters overlay in his in his stories. So when I, I when I first heard about it, I uh, I was excited because he's like my favorite author. But at the same time, um, I don't know how they're going to do it because there is no story at all. And my favorite one he took out, so I was upset by that. Yes. But, um, 
overall, I really uh, didn't enjoy it. Didn't? So what do you <laughs> no. give it out of 10? Um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. Just because, again, I like the style of it and like the everything else about it. Except for the, like, the fact that there's no story. Okay. Which I saw coming. But you guys didn't because you didn't yes. read it. I did. I'm giving this a one out of five. One out of five. Just because so. the music and the style is good. Hey, but yeah, this is just Butt Duke all yeah. across the board. But Duke. Duke. Okay, stay tuned Duke. for uh, part two of this because it's probably going to stretch over ten minutes. Yes. Um, where we will review Obsessed. And you will. I will review very shortly. I don't want to give too much away of the soloist because we haven't seen it. Um, what have you guys seen too? Nothing else came out. Dragon Ball. Did we re we review oh, yeah, Dragon, Dragon Ball? Ball. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do Dragon Ball as well because a lot of viewers I know have been asking me about that. So see you in two seconds for part two. One, two. And you Earth. Oh, and Earth. We didn't see.